Good morning, everybody. Today's lesson that um, you're supposed to do on Tuesday, May 19, is regarding motion transmission systems. So if you look at uh, the word transmission, meaning that we transmit, we transfer the same type of motion uh, from one object to the next. Think of transmission like you hear the word transmission uh, with the coronavirus, for example. We People will transmit the same virus from one person to the next and that's the that's the catastrophe that we're living right now because of the transmission of the same virus from one person to the next but right now in this lesson i won't talk about the coronavirus i'll talk about the um, movement motion motion of um, components in uh, various machines objects that move around you so see here i use the word same a couple of times so the same motion is transferred, make sure you just fix that uh, typo, from the driver component to the driven component. Um, all the motion transmission systems involve only, only the transfer of the same motion. For example, if I, if the first component does a rotation, then the next uh, component will also do a rotation. Like this example right here. You see how they are both rotating. Okay. There is no translation. It's all the same movement all throughout. Okay. Um, so let's look at the first type. Oh, and I have to say, the uh, driven and the driver component, which I will get back to um, at the bottom of the page, just want to show you, for example, here in this um, friction wheels. So let's say I'm looking at this one right here, letter B. So uh, this one becomes my driver. It's the main one. The driver is the main component that does uh, the movement, that starts the movement. So like this, that's the driver. And the other uh, component, so component A, um, is the driven. Think of it as the passenger. You're just going to follow along with the driver. Okay. So again, the driver moves, and as a consequence, the driven moves um, because of the driver. See that? So, and I will explain some more as we go through this page together. So, I'd like you to add, you see in yellow, I added a small column called reversibility and some examples. So, the first one here I'm going to show you again. We call this the friction gears or friction wheels. Um, you, you might hear the same, the, these two terms. And are they reversible? So when I ask when I ask you about if something is reversible, I don't mean can it go counterclockwise or clockwise reversible in that sense. It's more can the driver become the driven and vice versa. So it's like um, let's say I'm driving with my husband in the car. Well, um, it, our roles can can be reversed, meaning he can drive and I can be the passenger, and vice versa. We can both drive. Um, and we can interchange the roles. This is the same idea. In this friction uh, wheels, let's say the, my, the one that's over here, the uh, letter B, if I spin that one, that's my driver, and the driven moves as a consequence of the driver moving. Okay? Now when I say reversible, can I switch? Can the driven become the driver? Let's see. It's just not very well attached. Come on. Come on. There it is. Not the best example. <laughs> Turn with me already. <laughs> they can be here. I'll do it with the gear, it's better. So the what the gear that's on uh your right, this is the driver. And this one here becomes the driven. Can I transfer, can I reverse their, um, their roles? Yes. You see? Easily, no problem. So that's the first one. The example for that, in the printing press, actually, um, pieces of wood, when they press to create paper, there's huge, gigantic rolls that, um, roll like in this image, and it causes, um, it creates ginormous pieces, like, huge pieces of papers. Well, papers. <laughs> uh, the next one is the pulley and belt. 
And here's my example. We'll actually have a few pulleys in here. And you can, maybe this looks familiar in like old video cassettes, uh, videotapes, that sort of thing. Maybe you would have seen that. Um, although they're obsolete now, but still, it may have some lying around in your house somewhere. You can see that in a treadmill as well. So people would run on top of the belt and the wheels underneath will spin. Um, and is it reversible? Yes. So let's say again, this one is my driver. All the others are driven gears, are uh, driven wheels, sorry. But I could, you choose one, another one, say the top one here. I move it and yes, they all become driven now. So it is reversible. The next one is the gear assembly, which I have shown you a few times. So, again, a rotation. You see this way, it's called a transmission. Have you noticed, every time I rotate, the other one also does a rotation. Okay? Same with this. I rotate the pulley, they all rotate. There is no translation. Okay? And same with this friction gear. I turn one, the other turns also. There is no translation. Um, example for gear assembly, um, you have inside correction tape, you have some gears in there, but the correction tape you also have, I don't know if you can see that, I'm sure you've seen this before, uh, you have a belt and pulley inside your um, correction tape. The next one is a sprocket wheels and chain. Um, that would be in a bicycle. I don't have a bicycle in my dining room right now, but I'm sure you know what a bicycle looks like. Um, and you see the difference between the belt and pulley and the sprocket wheels and chain. The main difference is that one is a belt, it's a flat belt. It could be like made of um, rubber or a leather type material or tough plastic. Um, but in these ones here for a bicycle, that's the example. You'd have the chain. Uh, that would be the difference. It's made of metal in here. Okay. Um, and then you have the gears attaching and they fit into the, the uh, chains. Um, and the last the last uh, type of, mo of uh, system is the wheel and worm gear. So right here. See that? So as I spin my worm, the worm is the component that's in the middle. So as my I turn my worm, the gears spin also. I just need to make sure they're really fitting in. Oh! And we lose one. It doesn't matter, you can still see the gear moving. See that? It's slow, but it's moving. So, question is, is it reversible? This is the only one that is not. Carefully look at this. So the driver is the worm, and the driven is the gear. That is good. Now let's see if I can reverse and make the gear the driver. I'm trying to spin it, but it gets jammed. Because of the worm, the way it's made, it's like a helical movement. The way it's made is that the um, it's made only to spin in one direction. Okay. So that that's why that's the reason why it gets jammed like that. So out of all of the whole gang of systems. The one that you can memorize and just you'll know that all the others are reversible. The non-reversible one is the wheel and worm gear. That's the only one that that you'll need to remember. Uh, you find an example of that in tuning pegs on a guitar. Once you tune it, you can tune it only one way. You can't do many ways. <laughs> it's just one way. Okay? So I'm asking you to also write this at the bottom. The driver is the component that receives the force. Again, over here, see, I'm with my finger. So that makes this one the driver and this the driven. You got it. Okay. So driven is the component set in motion by the driver. Think of it as, as the passenger. Um, he moves only because the driver moves. And reversibility, can the role be reversed? Can the driver become the driven and vice versa? So I hope this helps, and I'll see you, we can review this again uh, next Tuesday. In the meantime, there is a facility learning on uh, transmission systems, which I'll share with you um, after the video. Have a good day.